Hey gang, Matt with Atlas Precision Consulting with another video on Dyna changes. Uh, in this video, we're going to cover some uh, basic formatting and screen cleanup, if you will. Uh, so this is a Dyna change that I've been playing around with in a lot of these videos, and so I just want to I'm going to cover everything, obviously, because there's a lot of uh, different things you can do to format and clean up. Uh, the first thing is removing a field. Now. If you want to completely remove a field, uh, you would highlight it on it and you would hit the remove button. It's that simple. Um, if you want to hide something, um, but you don't want to delete it or you can't delete it, um, like if you come here to company ID, obviously uh, we cannot delete it and we cannot hide it actually. Um, you'll see that some fields here the visible is blocked out. But what you can do is, if you wanted to, for some reason, uh, you could move the company ID somewhere else, and then you could um, make the company name invisible. If you accidentally make something invisible, or you, you thought, I, I was sure there was another field here called blah, uh, you can hit the show invisible, and it will show you anything um, that has been turned invisible or is invisible by default. Um, so that way you can, uh, if you did make something invisible accidentally, you can just click on that and uh, go back to hide and it'll, it'll take away any, any of the visible fields. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is if you see anything in a box, um, you can actually, if you click the box and highlight the box, so click it first, and then once it's selected, you can then drag the whole box and it'll move everything that's in that box. Technically, you can grab stuff within that box and move it out. Um, but if you drop something in that box, it will move as part of that box. Uh, you can also uh, make the box bigger or smaller, depending on what you're doing, just like that, and add other things in there. Um, I will say sometimes it's a little finicky. Uh, some stuff looks like it's in the box. You save it and go back in, and it's not. Uh, but the other, one of the most important things, at least for me personally, is I can't stand when things are all over the place. So I'm going to teach you the quick way to align something. Um, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to um, want to grab just this title here. Actually, we're going to grab this one first because this is the one we're going to align to. And I'm going to then hold my control button down and I'm going to click this. And then I'm also going to unclick that. So that way I'm only, I only want the text. And then over here, you'll see this alignment and I want to do a left align. And that's basically gonna shift that over so that's all lined up. Uh, now, I also wanna to try to keep the spacing the same. Sometimes it's easy to do because you have something to match it up to, sometimes you don't. In this case, I think this one's gonna be pretty close. So I'm gonna click on the quote type. I'm gonna hold my control button down again. I'm gonna hold truck or, or click on truck. And then I'm gonna hit the uh, top align and you'll see I'll, I'll move that up and it's in line with that. So it already kind of looks like it's a little bit better and we're gonna repeat that with the fields. So we're gonna click on this field, I'm gonna hold control, click on this field, and I'm going to left uh, align that. And then I'm gonna click on this field and I'm gonna click on this field. And again, you'll notice that it selected truck, um, which in this case is probably okay, but it's best practice to, you still keep the control key down, click that to unselect it, and then we're gonna hit the top of line and it's gonna bring that up. You can also drag and copy like this to grab multiple things. So I could come up here and let's say I wanted to grab those fields and move them the, together, I can. Um, so those are some of the basic uh, editing functions. Another thing um, you can, if it's a field that has some kind of text in it, you have different options. You can have it center, you can have it left or right justified um again we've talked about colors in another video you can also make it bold or italic this is basically moving it up and down um this is going to change the size but you can also do that by um, just grabbing or clicking on the box and then just like you would in any other kind of uh, microsoft program you can uh, change the sizing i will tell you this though the tab order is a little finicky at least on the web version um, essentially what it's supposed to do is as you're putting them in numerical order, that's the order they're going to tab through. So that was a lot. 
And uh, if you guys have questions about this or you want to go more depth on some other editing uh, techniques, uh, make sure you put a comment down below, like and subscribe. And as always, Atlas will be here for your P21 needs.